Hey guys, my name is Frank, and today I'm just going to go back and do a little recap on Adventure League. So, this is like the third time I've played the game. I created a profile called the Krusty Butts, and I'm going to get into this battle right here. So the reason I'm coming back to this to show you guys this is because I discovered the best setup for a party to get as far as possible in this game, and... It's really easy. All you have to do is get all archers. Now the benefit of having an archer is that they have ranged attacks. So basically no one can get close to you. So as you can see, I didn't even have to engage that bear. Like at all. I basically just stood around and let him walk to me and a lot of times in these battle scenarios there's like a kind of like a bottleneck for all the enemies to come through and you just line up your archers with that bottleneck and just take the guys out as they come through so I'm gonna come in here get my reward money order a round of drinks go find another bear to fight I'm gonna kill this other bear here go back out of the town and basically I've been playing this for a little while now and I think I've done everything there is to do like I've traveled all to all the different corners of this map and there's really there's a river on the far left side of the map there's a big river and mountains that kind of block you from going anywhere on the right there's sea on the the south side there's sea and on the very top there's more mountains so this is it. This is the whole game, and I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do at this point because I've gotten I've gotten all the weapon upgrades. I've bought composite bows for all my guys. Um, basically, I just keep going around doing little side quests, so I'm not really sure if there's a way to beat this game or if I'm missing something. Maybe there's like another another place I'm supposed to go. But for example, right here, there's this bottleneck right through here, and the bear is inevitably going to come down here to try to fight me because the AI is not that great. So I'm just going to try to move as quickly as possible to get this battle over with. But really, I only need one archer to do this. I don't even need these other guys. It's kind of a hassle to have to move all your guys around like this. The turn, For some reason, the turn-based gameplay in this game just feels a little bit clunky to me. I mean, it's not the worst, but it's definitely not the best. And as you can see here, my guy actually has four tiles to attack on. Well, that's kind of weird. I just touched that one and it disappeared, so I'm not really sure what that was about. But anyway, now it's just a matter of killing turns to attack this bear again. And it works the same if you're fighting like a wolf pack, a group of bandits, basically anything. Even when it's an open field and there are no bottlenecks on the level, you can still kind of just line up your guys and you have an attack radius of four, four tiles. So it's like no one can even get close. The max hits they have is probably three. So if you have two archers in a row, then you're gold. There's nothing they can do to stop you. So anyway, I just wanted to show you guys that um, if you are going to play this game and you want to get pretty far, Definitely try getting as many archers as you possibly can. I got lucky on this playthrough. I wasn't, I wasn't thinking of of trying this out. It just happened randomly, and I ended up with three archers. And I, I liked the first two so much that when my third party member died, I just replaced him with another archer. And here's a good example of an open open field. They just come right at you, and you just take them out. Like, how are they supposed to compete with that? There's no way they can possibly win. So, it's almost unfair. And it's almost a little disappointing, too, because I do like this game. It's a pretty cool game. I guess they're coming out with updates for it, hopefully. But, this could actually get interesting here. But, not really, because I have my other archers lined up. So, I'm going to attack him. I'm going to move my guy back here. I'm going to make this guy wait. You unlock the wait ability the longer you play the game, so I haven't I've only unlocked it on one guy, but I expect that the more I travel around, 
eventually one of the other guys will get that weight ability as well. But I've actually been all over the map, so I'm not really sure why no one else has gained this ability to wait. So, But anyway, I just wanted to show you guys that. You can come up here to Bessenberg and go to the armor stalls, I believe is what it's called. Go to the central market. Browse the armor stalls, and I've already purchased all the upgrades, but you want to go to Bessenberg, and you want to buy some composite bows for your team of archers. Anyway, guys, just wanted to show you that. Go get some archers. Go play this game. It's actually really fun. Um, good, decent amount of gameplay in it, and apparently it just never ends, so just waiting for some updates at this point. But hope you enjoyed the content. If so, like the video, subscribe to the channel. There's going to be more videos coming, and have a good day. See you next time.